Hello and welcome. Crusader here. I wasn't originally going to make this video, but after, you know, watching the news and giving it a good thought, I feel as though that I should kind of let you guys in on what I believe the end game with this whole coronavirus thing is. Uh, if you watch the news, um, you know, they talk about getting hospital beds and uh, ventilators and you know, everybody's staying at home. Uh, they say they're going to slow down the disease, slow down the disease. Well, slowing down is great, but they're not going to be able to stop it that way. They have never said that they're going to be able to stop it that way. So I'm starting to be able to read between the lines and, you know, kind of connect the dots. And it looks like a lot of people are going to have to get sick. Um, like 60% of the population is going to have to get sick in order to really stop this thing. And I'm going to tell you why. Because after you get this virus, similar to chicken pox, now this is not 100% conclusive, but it's, it's really looking like that. You know, the, uh, the doctor that's ahead of this, you know, virus task force, he's, he has said that he would bet anything that, you know, once you get the virus, you will build an immunity. <clears throat> so what it looks to me like is that um, all they're doing right now, slowing the country down, is buying time to be able to get, you know, hospitals, uh, you know, and uh, supplies ready for when the people come. It's not if, it's when. So all they're doing now is buying time, slowing things down by having people, you know, wash their hands, social distancing and all that kind of stuff in order to buy them time to erect all these, you know, makeshift hospitals and get all the supplies ready for when the influx comes in, they'll be able to handle it. Um, so that pretty much tells me that I'm probably, we're probably, most of us are going to get sick. I mean, that's just, you know, uh, that's, that looks like, that's, that's what it looks like, that, that this is just going to happen. It's going to happen. Our country cannot just shut down for, you know, a year or two, you know, for them to give them time to figure out how to make a vaccine and all that. That's, that can't happen. Our economy will collapse. It'll be like the Great Depression and people will die from that. You'd probably lose more people that way by having the economy collapse and, you know, and, you know, that, you know, disaster would be worse than, than the damn virus. So what I believe is going on is that they're just trying to buy time to erect the buildings so that when they get the influx of people, they can handle them. And also you got to remember the people who are in the hospital for other related, you know, women giving birth to babies, a uh, guy gets in a car accident. Uh, you know, there's people with, you know, other illnesses, all the other illnesses and, and uh, you know, things, they didn't stop for this virus. So you got to think, those people are in the hospital. Now, I mean, they did, what is it, the president did send a ship over the two ships, uh, what is it, the Mercy and the Comfort, and sent them on, the, you know, the both of the coast. But those ships were not for coronavirus patients. They're for the regular patients. They're for the people who don't have the disease and that are just, they need medical care, you know, for something else. So I think that, you know, I personally, I'm getting ready to get this disease. It's like, I'm not going to try to get it, but I'm just saying I've, I've succumbed to the, you know, the fate that it, this is, I'm probably going to get sick. And so are a lot of people that I care about. Um, I think that the method to the madness is that if a lot of people get it, you know, healthy, strong people that are young, then there'll be a lot less people who can transmit it because they'll get sick, they'll build an immunity, and then they'll no longer be able to pass it to the people like the old people or the sick people or the people that really get in trouble if they get this disease. And I know it's like, oh no, young people can die from it. Yeah, they can. That's, that's true. I'm not you know, saying they can't. But what I am saying is that it's, it's less likely they're going to. I mean, I think that the case right now is it's not, I mean, you're, more people are going to die. There's, there's no way to stop that. It's just trying to mitigate and make that number as small as humanly possible. That's the only thing that we can do. And it's like, 
I mean, preparing, I'm, I'm like mentally and I'm physically preparing myself, my mind and my body to get this disease because I, you know, I'm going to fight it, ride it out, build an immunity, and then I'll be one less person that can infect someone else. That's my mindset now. I've succumbed to that now. I mean, hopefully they'll come up with some sort of treatment that makes the, uh, the uh, symptoms less. That would be great. That would be fantastic. But I've got, I mean, I've got, there's, I mean, I can't see this, you know, this virus just all of a sudden, poof, disappearing. I mean, that just doesn't seem to be the way it works. You know what I mean? And I mean, the media, you know, everybody, you know, I think that they're kind of, they don't really want to tell everybody that the truth, but the truth is, I mean, I believe unless, you know, I'm completely wrong. And if you guys know something and I don't, please write in the comments. But as far as what I believe, I believe that 60% of the, the population at minimum is going to, he's got to get this disease get sick, build an immunity so that they can no longer transmit it. So now it's a lot harder for the virus to spread from one person to the next. That seems like the only way out of this. We can't keep the, you know, the economies can't stay frozen like this. That can't, that can't happen. That will, that's a disaster that right there, that would be, you know, it's more than just, you know, some rich guys on Wall Street are going to lose their stock holdings. I mean, it's not, it's more than that. So, you know, that's what I believe is happening. So, one thing I'm doing is I'm trying to get, you know, my body, I'm trying to, um, you know, keep my body rested, keep my body, uh, you know, with, you know, proper nutrition, uh, vitamin supplements, uh, everything. I'm trying to prepare my body so when it does come in contact with this virus that it can kick its ass. You know what I mean? So I would definitely suggest, hey, if you guys smoke, if any of you guys smoke cigarettes, you might want to quit today. Uh, you know, and you might want to start trying to eat healthier and eat right and, and, and take proper care of your bodies and nutrition in, you know, just to brace for the impact of what this virus could do to your body. Um, I know it's like I'm the credit crusader, and, you know, talking about credit and all that, but it's, it's kind of hard to talk about shit like credit monitoring when we got a virus out there that's killing people and it's got our economy frozen. I mean, that's you know, it's, it's, it's kind of hard. It's like, all right, yeah, okay, credit, you know, credit monitoring, right. Uh, every, I mean, it's, it's hard to talk about anything else except this damn virus because, I mean, it's so prevalent. So that's my view. That's how I feel, you know, things are going to go. And that's, and I'm preparing, you know, for that. Um, you know, I definitely, I strongly suggest that, you know, you guys do the same because hopefully best case scenario is a lot of strong, healthy people get the virus and then the sick old people, it will spare them from getting it because it's the herd. It's her, the herd. We are a herd, a collective herd, like a herd of people. And that's how these viruses spread. They need people in order to go from one person to the next. They need that. If they don't have that, it cuts, cuts their head off. So I don't know. I mean, I hope this, you know, maybe shed some light on some things for you guys. Um, if you guys you know, have any questions about maybe some vitamin supplements or anything you could take or any uh, things you could do to maybe make your immune system strong, go ahead and you can ask questions or whatever you want. You know, just leave it in the comments and I'll answer them. Uh, I mean, we're all on this together. This is going to be, I mean, I don't think the world has ever uh, been faced with anything like this ever. I mean, I can remember. I mean, I'm sure maybe it's the bubonic plague or some shit way back when in the Stone Age. But I mean, this is definitely a lot bigger than, than I originally thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be here today, gone tomorrow kind of thing, but it looks like it's staying. So, you know, you guys, you know, take care and don't worry if you do get sick. I mean, chances are, I mean, you're going to survive this. So that's the most important thing. I mean, I'm cool. Hey, you know what? If I get sick and I got to, you know, it's going to, you know, it's going to kick my ass. All right. But at the end of the day, I'm going to walk from it and then, you know, be able to move on. So I hope that's, you know, what happens. But anyways, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Crusader out.